Coach O. Let's talk about Coach O. He was at the Little Rock Touchdown Club earlier this week. And he was asked multiple questions about his uh, his time at LSU, his exit from LSU. And this story was absolutely hilarious to me. So, of course, I had to toss it out here. Uh, I'll let you guys hear it, and then, and then we'll comment a little bit. It's less than a minute. I'm so grateful of my time for LSU. That was my opportunity. You know, coaches got a shelf. Some coaches got 50 years. Some coaches got 12. Mine was six. Good. I got to tell you, we had a meeting. They coach, things are not going well. No shit. Ray Charles can see that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and they were good. And, and Scott Woodward is a friend of mine today. Really, really, a lot of respect for the way they handled me. So and what's the, next? Well, well I got to tell, tell you this, though. Say, so coach. You got $17.1 million on your contract. We're going to give it to you. <laughs> I said, what time do you want me to leave? What door you want me out of, brother? <laughs> I'm so grateful of my How much fun is that guy? There is nobody on the planet that loves being Coach O more than Coach O. <laughs> right? He, I believe that's what Chris said in our, uh, in our group chat. But he really enjoys himself. And I, I fully believe that this happened exactly that way. Uh, because I don't think he was having fun being the coach there anymore once 2020 got here. I think he was out of there. Like, he won that national championship, and he started to, once the COVID stuff happened and whatnot, I think he was out. I think it became way too much because, again, people talk about this with Nick Saban all the time. Trying to sustain that level is much more difficult than getting to the mountaintop one time. Trying to stay up there is what's the most difficult. And uh, and I think 2020, all the stuff that happened politically in the offseason and whatnot leading up to that season, all of the uh, political activism that was going on in the sport, et cetera, all the different changes that happened leading into the 2021 season, and now, of course, leading into 2022. I think he, uh, he was done. He was done. I don't think he has any ambition to coach again. Uh, he talked about his window there. He said mine was like six years. Cheers to him. Uh, but he, I, I will tell you, I'm, I'm hoping that he sticks around. I hope he continues to do interviews like this. I like him so much as a personality where he's just on the mic because he has a good time, and I, I fully enjoy that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.